My name is Jake, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about a new chapter. I've been thinking about this video for the last six months and I've just been going through my head simulating, you know, kind of hypothetically how this video would go. And I've thought about this, you know, countless hours. I've kind of lost a little bit of sleep over this video, thinking how I wanna share this. I don't really know how to make a video like this. And it's, it's really strange for me but I really, you know, this video is, I've been on YouTube for about four years. So it's actually almost a little poetic. If you go to my channel and you go to the about section, this will be the 200th video. And it's to the date, I couldn't have timed this better. I didn't actually plan this. To the day, four years. I created this YouTube channel four years ago. I wanted to make this video for those of you that have been following the channel for the last couple of years. I know that there's there's a handful of you that have watched my videos every single week. And so this video is for all of you. A lot of what I talk about on YouTube is about, you know, reaching financial independence and looking to retire early off of, you know, a dividend strategy, right? That's what I've been talking about really for the last couple of years. My wife and I have been down this path, you know, toward reaching financial independence for many years. And a big part of how I started my YouTube channel was showing other people like you, you know, my M1 portfolio here online. A lot of people don't show their portfolio. Um, I decided, you know what, to be authentic, I'm just going to show my portfolio. And I showed the progress month over month, year over year. But one thing that you'll notice if you've been following my channel, my channel, well, my portfolio has not really grown. So if I scroll in here over the last year, my portfolio has not really gone up or down very much. And since the beginning of the year, I have not been adding additional money to this portfolio. I have not been reinvesting the dividends of this portfolio uh, it back into the portfolio. And I have this is the first time that I'm talking about this here this year. And the reason why is because in January of this year, I got laid off from my job. I got laid off in the uh, the tech recession. I was a, a sales manager making very, very good money. All of that vanished overnight. And I've been, you know, I don't talk a lot about my personal life here on YouTube. Um, that will probably change a little bit in the future, but I don't talk a lot about my personal life, but yeah, I got laid off in January and my wife and I have just kind of gone through a little bit of a roller coaster in the beginning of the year thinking, well, shoot, what do we want to do? Where, where are we at? What, what, what comes next? So in the beginning of the year in January, what I tried to do was I tried to get a job after I got laid off. I was like, you know what? We're, we're not quite at our goal yet. We still need a couple of years before we can reach our, our target, our fire target you know, financial independence, retire early. Um, we, I, I, I applied for hundreds of jobs. I probably got two or three interviews. You know, it was so discouraging when I would look at a job, uh, job posting on LinkedIn and within the first couple of hours, there'd be hundreds, hundreds of applicants. And so in the software, you know, technology space, there, there is a true recession going on, especially for somebody that wants a full remote job. Um, I probably could have gotten something if I wanted to work hybrid, but that's that's just kind of where, where I was personally at. But to be honest, during this whole experience, these last couple of months, I've had a, a really a lot of mixed feelings, a feeling of disappointment, a feeling of failure, feeling of excitement, right? Like, you know, that I wasn't working my nine to five job, um, feelings of confusion. And just once again, why this video is so hard for me to make, because when I started this YouTube channel, I set out a very clear goal. I was going to work and I was going to work for these next couple of years. And when I reached fire, I was going to call up my boss and said, hey, boss, I quit. I reached my fire goal. That was how I envisioned this this whole time, right? You know, like how, you know, you think about how something's going to go, go as a kid and you plan it and you envision it a certain way and life changes everything and throws you a curveball and it doesn't end up the way that, it, that you had originally planned it. And that's just life being life. And that's why I have all of these mixed feelings where it's so confusing for me. Um, and so, you know, you think we think about it here. So we're we're so close. We're about one or two years out. If we if my wife and I were to still be working, um, we would have reached fat fire 
fat fire. We would have covered all of our expenses through our dividend income. Everything would have been great. I started thinking to myself, because my wife is still working, right? So she's still working, but we only have one income now, not two. And then I started thinking, how could we make this work regardless if I had a full-time job or not? So instead of working one and a half more years at my full-time job, we then came across the idea of something called Barista Fire. Barista Fire is kind of that middle ground where you're living off of your investments, you know, your dividend income in early retirement, but you're still working part-time or doing something on the side to supplement the gap in income that you need to cover your expenses. And so that's really what, what I was thinking, well, that could actually work. Now, my wife is still working. I, you know, generate some income here on YouTube. We have our dividend income. We could actually make this work. And so for me, this meant that I would be able to, if I were to take the barista fire route, instead of going full fat fire, um, and if we were to explore barista fire, then I was thinking, well, for me, this would mean that I could continue making YouTube videos every week, like I have been the last four years, and working on other side projects that could generate maybe a small stream of income to supplement while our dividend income does not yet cover our all of our expenses. I was thinking this might actually be the right path for us. Now, this isn't the path that I had imagined, you know, six or seven years ago when I started down this fire journey thinking, okay, I'm going to quit my job. This is how it's going to be. It's going to be all perfect. And I quickly realized this year that life is not perfect. It, it, it isn't. And you have to be ready for life's curve curveballs. But I think, you know, this is where the excitement in all of these mixed feelings come in, that this could actually work that this could really, really work. So before I talk a little bit more about what that means, so the burst of fire for my wife and I, um, how did we get here? So let me let me take a step back and kind of catch you all up. If you've been following the channel for four years, one year, or just a couple of months, how did we get here? So my wife and I, I've, I've been working in my, my career for 10 years. I, I've been, I studied abroad in Germany, did all of that, very well educated, have a, you know, a master's degree, very, a lot of time and effort spent in, in acquiring my degree. I've worked in software sales for 10 years. My wife and I, since we moved to Austin about five years ago, we started investing into real estate. We invested a lot of time and money into real estate. In addition to that, in addition to my full-time job investing in real estate, I was also working on YouTube, you know, creating these YouTube videos that generated a little bit of income. Uh, I'm not, I'm not Graham Stephan, everybody. I don't make the, the big bucks, but I, I make a little bit of money here, here and there. Okay. And so over the last couple of years, since we moved to Austin, I've really been working seven days a week, Monday through Friday, I was working at my full-time job, generally all day Sunday and part of Saturday, I would work preparing for YouTube. And then Saturdays, I would spend a lot of time working on our rental properties, fixing things up, because I DIY'd it all, I did it all myself, right? We didn't outsource anything. So essentially for years and years, I've been working seven days a week. And then in January of this year, that all stopped. We don't have real, we don't have rental properties anymore. I, you know, I didn't have a full-time job. So I went from working seven days a week to working now maybe one or two. And it's been really a, a huge, huge dramatic change. I've, I've spent so, I probably, you know, I spent so much time this year with our little baby boy, Lucas. Um, it's been, it's been a really, really, really great experience, but very different than these last couple of years. So the hard work that we put in over these last 10 years to be in the position that we're in today, all of the, all of that work, all of those seeds that we planted many years ago, we're able to reap the benefit of those seeds that we that we planted many years ago. So that's a little bit about where, how we got here. Okay, so we've we've invested all this time and money and effort, a lot of sweat equity went into all of this. And so where do we go next? What What's this new chapter? So the new chapter for us is that we're going to be embracing this new lifestyle of Barista Fire. We're no longer gonna be pursuing Fat Fire in the traditional sense where we work and then we, we you know, just one day to the next quit. It's gonna, we're gonna have this burst of fire experience. And what we're going to do is now, um, at the end of the month, we're going to be moving back to Utah where I grew up. So I grew up in Northern Utah. Um, we're gonna keep our house here in Texas for now. And we're gonna live part of the year, the, uh, the summer months up in Utah. 
and the uh, the winter months we're going to live down here in Texas for now. And um, because if this hasn't taught me anything, I'm not going to plan years and years into it in advance. We're going to take it year by year. We're going to take it year by year and we're going to enjoy the time that we have. And really what we're going to focus on these, like I said, these last 10 years have all been hustle, hustle, hustle. You know, the whole Gary V, you got to hustle, you got to side up. Like, I'm done with that. I'm done with it. Um, what we're going to focus on now is we're going to decelerate our lives. I want to slow down our lives. Working seven days a week, it, it, it was great while it lasted but it's nothing that I personally could do forever. And now what we want to focus on is we want to enjoy our time. We want to enjoy and focus on experiences. Experiences together as a family, experiencing new things, new cultures. Um, but really, that's that's really what we want to focus on. And when looking more long term, so once again, I'm not going to plan in, into detail. I'm not going to put the list on our fridge and say, all right, this is what we're going to do. Um, but I think, you know, just kind of, big milestones or big things that we're looking at down the road is um, we have our little baby boy, Lucas. Uh, he's a toddler now. He's two years old. Going forward, what we're planning on doing, we're planning on homeschooling Lucas, which will also, you know, create a lot more flexibility for us. So we're going to be traveling a lot more throughout the year. Um, and so part of the year we'll spend in, in Utah, part of the year in Texas, part of the year in Germany, uh, where my wife's family is from. Um, I think we're going to spend more time there, but that's that's kind of long term, long term where where we're going to see ourselves. I'd love to go back to New Zealand. So traveling is definitely going to be on on some you know on our list of things that we want to experience. The main focus of this, while continuing to do YouTube, while you know making sure that we have a, an additional source of income to supplement. Uh, you know, our dividend income to cover all of our expenses, we're going to try to really focus on decelerating our lives. So what does that mean for, you know, my YouTube channel that I've been focusing on and I've been religiously, you know, uploading videos every single Sunday. I'm going, so the plan for, for my YouTube channel, at least in the short term and the midterm, there's going to be no changes to the weekly Sunday format or schedule. Every single Sunday, I'm going to continue uploading videos like I have been these last four years. So no changes there. I, I really want to focus on keeping a consistent schedule on a weekly basis. And really what, what I want to focus on, I don't want to just dump videos on you, right? Like I hate it when personally, I hate it when YouTubers just post like three or four times a day, four or five times a week. Like I, I just, it's just information overload for me. That's just me personally. Um, but I really, I want to focus on providing value, the videos and the content that I do make. I really want to focus on educating people, helping other people learn about different topics that I'm passionate about. And I really want to make people laugh. I, I love like that's one of my favorite things to do. It's I, I love making people laugh. And mo with my kind of dry humor there, I just I just love it. That's that's really what I enjoy the most. You know, because YouTube is going to supplement our, our living expenses, I, I haven't decided yet but I, I likely will, I may create an additional video during the week, like one, one more video on a Wednesday or something, if I'm really interested in a topic, or if there's a sponsor that I, I'm considering. I, I don't really want to flood my Sunday videos with sponsored videos. I may do that in a, in a different video during the week. Um, so I really want to keep my Sunday videos like I have been, um, so that it's consistent. But um, I, I've had some sponsors reach out to me, and, and I just, if I do a sponsor video, it would be great. It would really help us financially. Um, I may do it during the week, but I, I haven't fully decided yet. So I, I'm working on that. And then what, you know, what I'm going to be working on as well is I'm going to be working on other side projects. I'll talk more about that in the future, but it's really going to be around the topics of financial independence, retire early and dividend investing. It's really been a roller coaster of emotions this year. And, you know, this whole experience has been really eye opening. And I, I plan on talking a lot more about it in the future but it's not something that I could have ever prepared for or had in my, my you know, wild card for, for this year. I had no idea that this was going to happen. And this whole experience of achieving Barista Fire, it really feels like a big leap of faith because you, there is that gap. Our, our expenses are higher than the net, than the income that we generate from our dividend portfolio. And so this really is going to take a, a leap of faith. Uh, you know, the barista fire, because, you know, for those of you that may not know, YouTube, 
the income that I generate from from YouTube, it's it fluctuates greatly. So some months, it'll be really low, other months, it'll be higher. And so it is a leap of faith going on a, you know, going down this path of barista fire. And, you know, it kind of looks a little like this. Man, I almost fell out of my seat the first time I saw that movie when I was a kid. The next couple of weeks are gonna be a little chaotic for us. You know, as I mentioned, we're going to be moving. I'm going to be making a few videos in advance before we leave in July to Utah. The next couple of months, I'm mostly gonna be talking about financial independence and retire early, so the fire movement. And once we get settled in Utah uh, near the end of July, I'll start mixing up the content between the fire movement and dividend investing topics. It's honestly a surreal feeling. I, I'm filled with a lot of mixed emotions right now. It's kind of, it's this is the hardest video that I've I've ever had to make here on YouTube. Like honestly, I, I don't. I'm a little bit of a loss of words, but I just, I, I didn't want to end the video without genuinely saying thank you, thank you so much to every one of you that have supported me these last couple of years, and I'm just really really excited to share these the next phase of life with you here on YouTube and share what it's like to be in Barista Fire and hopefully inspire you to pursue something similar, whether it's a Barista, barista Fire, Fat Fire, or anything and everything in between. I hope that this is inspirational for you. Once again, thank you so much for being part of this and supporting me and my wife on this path to reaching Barista Fire.